Of the surprising events I showed you in the last video are detectable because their volleys are sharply concentrated in time. Now, it is important to say a few words about the machinery inside the brain which generates these volleys, because there's a subtle point here which, is, which makes it not immediately obvious how it could work. The volleys, as I said, are clearly not accidental, meaning that they have some underlying cause. Now, this cause is usually expected to be some fact, some piece of truth, steadily present. For instance, in the visual context, it may be some property of the visual image. But this means that the reason underlying the volleys is not the kind of thing that is able to dictate the time at which the volleys should occur. Therefore, the network producing these volleys must be able to choose the times of the volleys. It must act as a prime mover, meaning that it must be able to initiate action. In practice, the underlying situation must place the prime mover into a state where it spontaneously generates volleys. I may remark that it is obvious that in the motor division, whose job it is to initiate action, there must exist prime mover networks. It is not quite so obvious, but it follows from what I said here, is that they must also exist in the sensory division. In my book, I describe some prime mover networks. The most prominent of them, the one creating the volleys I've been talking about, is a kind of neuron grouping known as a cell assembly, capable of chain reaction like firing, known as ignition. A cell assembly is a set of neurons, very often close to one another in the cortex, strongly enough interconnected that firing can quickly spread within the group until all members have given off a spike. The firing then stops as soon as every cell has fired once because the cells need to recover after firing. The result is that each ignition gives off a sharply synchronized volley like the ones you have seen. What makes the ignitions occur spontaneously, which is also what makes them repetitive, is the property of the cell assemblies that under the proper conditions they repeatedly go into instability. What presumably happens is that the ion channels in the cell membranes permit steady leakage of electric charge into the interior of the neurons, thereby steadily lowering the firing thresholds until random firing in the network sends the cell assembly into ignition. The ignition temporarily restores the balance of charge in the cells, but the charge leakage continues until the group becomes unstable again ignites again, and the process repeats itself until, until it is turned off. The repeated ignitions of cell assemblies in the brain can actually be seen in the laboratory. They are seen in cross-correlation recordings where spikes are gathered from two neurons and the relative time delays between them are gathered into bins. This slide is a re a redrawn from a paper by Noda and Adi you will notice that around the center there are a fair number of extra counts where the delay between spikes of the two cells is one millisecond or less. The interpretation is that each of the extra counts in the middle is caused by an ignition by a cell assembly where both of the recorded uh, neurons are members. In the next video I will turn to the nature of the messages contained in volleys of spikes.